Howdy folks, Bob Warfield here from CNC Cookbook. It's time for another episode of G-Wizard University. These are short videos that take you through just one feature at a time, uh, how to use the different features in our G-Wizard software. Today's topic is going to be how to use the OD Turning Conversational Wizard for Lathes. Okay, so you access the Conversational CNC Wizards by clicking the Wizards button. Here they are. Here's the OD Turning Wizard. Now the idea behind Conversational CNC is to let you do simple things very quickly and easily just by answering a few questions. A lot of times on a simple part, uh, folks will tend to steer towards a manual machine rather than a CNC because they're thinking about how much time it's going to take them to do a CAD drawing and then run the CAD drawing through their CAM software to get some G-code for the CNC. But with conversational CNC, you can completely skip uh, the CAD CAM step. Just answer a couple of easy questions and you get back G-code. So for example, the OD Turning Wizard is designed to turn diameters and it can handle multiple di diameters, up to eight of them in fact. And it'll face the area uh, to the right of the diameter. It'll do a corner treatment. Uh, on the edge and it'll it'll turn the diameter itself for up to eight diameters. Uh, so the way you set it up is you use this little table right here and you go in and you put your different uh, diameters. You do them left to right. Uh, when you get to uh, all the diameters you want to cut, make the rest of them a zero diameter and they'll be ignored. Uh, just like four and five are ignored here. Uh, so let's say we want to go uh, three, two, one. Uh, each one to be an inch in length. Uh, so we're basically going to do uh, three inches, two inches, one inches. Uh, and we're going to do some corner treatments. Uh, let's say we're going to uh, put a radius here that's, you double click to edit, uh, 0.1 uh, radius. We're going to do a camphor on this one. Uh, and again, let's make it 0.1. Uh, and then the rest of these we want to just break the edges. So that just puts a little radius out there uh, on anything that still had been set to none uh, so you don't have a sharp edge on the piece. Okay, So that's going to be our recipe to create this piece. Now we need a little bit more information. You can put in the work offset. Uh, a rapid 2. Uh, this is sort of like your uh, save Z on a mill, but this is what we're willing to rapid to. Uh, um, 3.1 inches in X, which is just a tenth of an inch, a uh, hundred thousandths larger than the three inch diameter. Uh, tool 1 will be fine for roughing and finishing, although you can specify a, a different finish tool if you want. Um, here's your feeds and speeds. I'm not going to bother to mess with these for this demonstration, uh, but suffice to say you can use our G-Wizard calculator product to uh, calculate the right values for these. Uh, but we have some uh, just some simple values in here to look at. And then the start Z, which is the Z of this front face here. Now I'm going to put in uh, minus 0.1, a little bit less than zero. I've got a zero for my safe Z, uh, and so this will give me a, a hundred thousandths to just kind of clean up this face from whatever it looked like. And that's really about all you need. If there's an error, here I'll put this back to zero so that we have an error. Uh, it'll appear here telling you what you need to change. Uh, you, you need to wrap it to uh, a distance that's bigger than your uh, largest diameter or else you're going to crash into your workpiece. So there, there was that error. Uh, and when you have everything the way you want it, uh, you hit insert. And what happens is it'll go generate all the G-code for this. And it's all commented. You get all of your uh, parameters that you input are listed here. Here's the set of uh, the diameters, the lengths, the corner treatments, radius for that corner treatment. Uh, there's a safe start block, there's a setup of feeds and speeds, a tool change. Here's all your roughing passes. And uh, you go on down through all of that and uh, change your uh, feeds and speeds and your tool for the finish pass. Here's your finish pass. And then there's a completion block uh, that turns off the spindle and the coolant and returns you to your uh, G28 position. So yeah, if we take a look at it, we can see that's what it looks like. Here's our uh, camphor, here's our radius, 
uh, this little uh, camphor here, so this little radius is a little too small to see the break edge radius, but you got all the passes in and followed up with a finishing profile cut. That's all there is to it. That's uh, quite a bit of programming done with just answering a few questions. Thanks very much. Come back and see the rest of our G Wizard University series.